The Revelation Space Universe is a fictional universe which was created by Alistair Reynolds and used as the setting for a number of his novels and stories. Its fictional history follows the human species through various conflicts from the relatively near future roughly 2200 to approximately 40,000 AD all the novels to date are set between 2427 and 2727, although certain stories extend beyond this period. It takes its name from Revelation Space, which was the first published novel set in the universe. The name, ''Revelation Space Universe'' has been used by Alistair Reynolds in both the introductory text in the collections Diamond Dogs, Turquoise Days and Galactic North, and also on several editions of the novels set in the universe. Topic. Overview The Revelation Space Universe is set in a future version of our world, with the addition of a number of extraterrestrial species and advanced technologies that are not necessarily grounded in current science. It is, nonetheless, somewhat harder than most examples of space opera, relying to a considerable extent on science Reynolds believes to be possible, in particular, faster than light travel is largely absent. Reynolds has said he prefers to keep the science in his fiction plausible, but he will adopt science he believes will be impossible when it is necessary for the story. While a great deal of science fiction reflects either very optimistic or dystopian visions of the human future, the Revelation Space Universe is notable in that human societies have not developed to either positive or negative extremes. Instead, despite their dramatically advanced technology, they are similar to those of today in terms of their moral ambiguity and mixture of cruelty and decency, corruption and opportunity. The Revelation Space Universe contains elements of Lovecraftian horror, with one posthuman entity stating explicitly that some things in the universe are fundamentally beyond human or transhuman understanding. Nevertheless, the main storyline is essentially optimistic, with humans continuing to survive even in a universe that seems fundamentally hostile to intelligent life. The name Revelation Space", appears in the novel of the same name during Philip Lesky's account of his visit to Lesky's Shroud, an anomalous region of the local universe. Lesky says that, "...the key", to something momentous, was explained to me, while I was in Revelation Space. Chronology. <laughs> The chronology of the Revelation space universe extends to roughly one billion years into the past, when the Dawn War, a galaxy-spanning conflict over the availability of various natural resources, resulted in almost all sentient life in the galaxy being wiped out. One race of survivors, later termed the Inhibitors, having converted itself to machine form, predicted that the impending Andromeda–Milky Way collision, roughly three billion years in our future, may severely damage the capacity of either galaxy to support life. Consequently, they planned to adjust the positions of stars in order to limit the damage the collision would cause. Also central to the inhibitor project was the eradication of all species above a certain technological level until the crisis was over, as they believed no organic species would be capable of co-operating on such a large-scale project. Whilst they were relatively successful, certain advanced species were able to hide from inhibitor forces, or even fight back. 
In human history, during 21st and 22nd centuries numerous wars occurred, and a flotilla of generation ships were deployed to colonize a planet orbiting the star 61 Cygna this becomes a major segment of the plot of Chasm City. The flotilla was later to reach a planet termed Skys Edge, which was to be embroiled in war until human civilization there was eradicated. Meanwhile, in the Solar System in 2190, the conjoiners emerged as a result of increased experimentation with neural implants. In response, the Coalition for Neural Purity was formed, opposed to the conjoiners. Naville Clavian fought on the side of the Coalition in the ensuing war, but defected later on after being betrayed. Clavian, and the conjoiners, succeeded in escaping the solar system and left for surrounding stars. For the next few centuries, the so-called Belle Époque, humanity enjoyed a period of relative peace and prosperity, with several planets being colonized. The most successful planet of all was Yellowstone, a planet orbiting the star Epsilon Eridani, site of the Glitter Band, Rust Belt and Chasm City. Technologies developed included the conjoiner drive, a gift from the conjoiners who resumed contact with humanity at an unknown time, advanced nanotechnology, and numerous other devices. With the exception of an attempted takeover of the glitter band, no major incidents affected humanity during this time. The Belle Epoque was terminated by the advent of the Melding Plague in 2510, a nanotechnological virus that destroyed all other nanotechnology it came into contact with. Only the conjoiners were unaffected by this disaster, which devastated the civilization around Yellowstone. War between the Demarchists and conjoiners erupted as a result of the plague. Meanwhile, activities around a far-flung human colony on the planet Resurgum, orbiting the star Delta Pavonis, inadvertently attracted the attention of the inhibitors. The conjoiners, also made aware of this event, sent Clavian to recover the exceedingly powerful cash weapons. From this system said weapons having been stolen from the conjoiners centuries before that could be used to fend off the inhibitors while the conjoiners escaped. Clavian instead defected from the conjoiners, intending to use the weapons to protect all of humanity. Skade, another conjoiner, was sent to stop him and recover the weapons. They fought around the Resurgum system, with Clavian and his allies eventually obtaining the weapons. Clavain's ally Remontoir agreed to seek out alien assistance from the Hades Matrix, a nearby alien computer disguised as a neutron star, whilst Clavian sheltered refugees from Resurgum on another planet, later termed Ararat. Remontoir returned in 2675, only a few days after Clavain's death at the hands of Skade, who had arrived with him. Remontoir and his allies were now at war with the inhibitors, assisted by alien technology obtained from Hades. Even so, it was realized that the humans would not last indefinitely, and Clavain's people, now led by Scorpio decided to seek out the mysterious «shadows», a race believed to be near a moon called Gila, site of a theocracy. Aura, daughter of Anna Cowery an ally of Remontoir infiltrated the theocracy under the pseudonym Rashmika Else. After considerable conflict, Scorpio and Aura realized that contacting the Shadows was inadvisable. They instead contacted the Nestbuilders, who provided them with weapons capable of defeating the inhibitors. 
As such, the inhibitors were effectively eradicated from human space, with buffer zones and frontiers established to keep them at bay. Humanity then enjoyed a second, 400-year-long golden age. After this, however, came the Greenfly outbreak, in which human civilization was destroyed by a rogue terraforming system of human origin that destroyed planets and converted them to millions of orbiting, vegetation-filled habitats. The Greenfly began to subsume most of human space, with all efforts to stop them failing. The storyline of the Revelation space universe thus far concludes with humanity leaving the Milky Way galaxy in an attempt to set up a new civilization elsewhere. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Books and stories set in the universe. All short stories and novellas in this universe to date are collected in Galactic North and Diamond Dogs, Turquoise Days, with the exception of Monkey Suit and The Last Log of the Lacrimosa. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Main Series. Revelation Space London, Gollins, 2000. ISBN 978-0-575-06875-9. Chasm City. London, Gollins, 2001. ISBN 978-0-575-06877-3. Redemption Arc. London, Gollins, 2002. ISBN 978-0-575-06879-7. Absolution Gap. London, Gollins, 2003. ISBN 978-0-575-07434-7. The Prefect. London, Gollins, 2007, ISBN 978-0-575-07716-4, re-released as Aurora Rising in 2017, ISBN 978-1-473-22336-3 Elysium Fire London, Gollins, 2018, ISBN 978-0-575-09059-0 Short fiction Dilation Sleep Originally published in Interzone No. 39 September 1990, reprinted in Galactic North. A Spy in Europa. Originally published in Interzone No. 120, June 1997, reprinted in the year's Best Science Fiction, 15th Annual Collection 1998, ISBN 978-0-312-19033-0, Gardner Desois, ed., and in Galactic North, and posted free online at Infinity Plus. Galactic North", originally published in Interzone No. 145 July 1999, reprinted in Space Soldiers 2001, ISBN 978-0-441-00824-7, Jack Dan and Gardner Desois, eds., and in the year's Best Science Fiction, 17th Annual Collection 2000, ISBN 978-0 312-26417-8, Gardner Desois, ed. And in Hayakawa's SF Magazine, and in Galactic North. Monkey Suit, originally published in Death Ray No. 20, July 2009, reprinted in Deep Navigation. The Last Log of the Lacrimosa. 
originally published in Subterranean Online, July 2014. Open and Shut, a Prefect Dreyfus short story, originally published on the Gallants website, January 2018. Topic: Novellas. Great Wall of Mars. Originally published in Spectrum SF No. 1 February 2000, reprinted in the year's Best Science Fiction, 18th Annual Collection 2001, ISBN 978-0-312-27465-8, Gardner Desois, ed., and in Galactic North. Glacial Originally published in Spectrum SF No. 5 March 2001, reprinted in the year's Best Science Fiction, 19th Annual Collection 2002, ISBN 978-0-312-28879-2, Gardner Desois, ed., and in Galactic North Diamond Dogs Originally published as a chapbook from PS Publishing 2001, ISBN 978-1-902880-27-3, reprinted in Infinities 2002, Peter Crowther, ed., and in Diamond Dogs, Turquoise Days Turquoise Days Originally published as a chapbook from Golden Griffin 2002, no ISBN, reprinted in the year's Best Science Fiction, 20th Annual Collection 2003, ISBN 978-0-312-30860-5, Gardner Desois, ed., and in Best of the Best Volume 220 Years of the Year's Best Short Science Fiction Novels 2007, ISBN 978-0-312-36342-0, Gardner Desois, ed., and in Diamond Dogs, Turquoise Days. Weather. Originally published in Galactic North 2006. Grafenwalder's Bestiary. Originally published in Galactic North 2006. Nightingale, originally published in Galactic North, 2006, reprinted in the year's Best Science Fiction, 24th Annual Collection, 2006, ISBN 9780312363352, Gardner Desois, ed. Topic. Stories in chronological order See also List of Revelation space locations List of Revelation space characters Factions in Revelation space Races in Revelation Space <laughs>